Okay, um... So let's do this way. So next, what I want to create is new one. Let me copy this just in case. Can you notice right here we have our reaper apply, which is kind of nice because we don't have um, effect applied. We could also export map of the river. And actually, I should probably done this as a separate high map or other things so we can even apply to the river effect, but we can do this other ways. So let's go ahead, we'll create new layer and we'll call this where peaks flow. Again, object parametric. Okay, we'll get our transparency. We'll just set right now this way till we're here. We'll go attack this presence color alpha and let's go switch this to blue color okay we'll go to the transparency and let's go modify this function so again i'm going open okay notice right here when i selecting this one you see what's happening we have a full pop even it's have a transparency alpha png but it still display all of that so even I applied, we'll see if the transparency will apply. It's in right now, it's apply all flow through all map. So I need kind of a rework on this. In some cases, it's nice we have it right here, river, and maybe you want to use it this as a base base material on the bottom. So for example, we can save this as example, and we can take this and say as um. like this base river and bring this way down so somewhere like on the bottom so it's kind of cover a little bit areas but again it will be overriding and we need to go inside the Photoshop we'll go to the peaks flow and we can set this one to the black so we can again transparency non-transparency so i want black uh, will be not transparent. so we can invert afterwards but in this case we can save it so i'm going ahead and i will go and switch all of them to same so we have it um kind of nice map because it does not save very well work with with some of those transparency maps okay when i save completed we can come back and creating again a new layers so let's go ahead to this one got something different so we can see effect of this okay, we'll go transparency let's go edit oops actually i don't need it reopen i need edit function Okay, and we have it explore TFF. This is what I wanted, so I'll open that. Let's go invert again. I want just in those areas. We'll click OK. Next, I want to work on this uh, terrace, and we have it only one map for the terrace. So again, I'm going to create new. Okay, this is. Uh, And in some cases, you can always um, click parametric. I'll be sure this one object parametric as well. Okay. In many cases, you can apply the standard view materials if you need it. This is again, this is just examples. So what we can do when we work with a different type image based map. We've got transparency. Paste function, edit function, let's go load it. Okay, so right here is our terrace, and we have it, our terrace is right here, we want TFF. Let's go open that one, invert it. So we'll just apply to this area, click OK. The other thing says also, see if it's alpha boost. Currently it's set to zero, which is OK. In some cases, it may set to different 
and we want to um, switch in this case. So we want concrete. Okay, let me go right there. Actually, now maybe put even on the middle, kind of like this, so we can preview, see that map a little bit better. And actually, this angle maybe will be better because we have the river coming, so we want to see river. Slightly up. So we have right here. Let's work now on this fourth area. Okay, and fourth area we're going to create new. We'll call this. Well, we'll call swamp. Right. Okay, we'll go presence this way. Let's go to alpha. And we'll go something swampy green, maybe. Can we go to transparency? Same things for everything. So it's just a kind of practice. Okay, we have it smooth right here. This is TFF. That's what we wanted. Height. Okay, again can adjust it. So apply right there. Let's go click OK. And we want to switch to object parametric, of course. So it will be placed just in the right area. And how I said before, right here, if you notice, we have this base river, which is kind of very blue. In this case, I want to take alpha and take all the way down. So it will be there, but it won't be overwhelmed that much. And we can see other ones apply effectively a bit better in this case. Okay, this mountain max lower. Okay, so the, everything okay. Now one last we can create level. Okay, let's go effect. So presence will go right here, color alpha. Let's switch this to a brighter orange. Maybe actually, you know what? Let's go with a purple. Transparency variable will go to paste function. Okay, and I think this is almost last time we're doing this. Okay, now we have a small floaty effect. This is what we wanted. Click OK. So right here we have this applied for us now. Okay, I needed object parametric for that one. There you go, so we have it right here, red. Uh, next thing, um, it's very nice to add additional um, layer over all, I kind of like blending, I find for myself. So let's go create new and call blend. And this is, think about this, we have an underlay material and I want overlay above everything. In some cases, I can control also with height, but it's helped me kind of blend all of this where we created together in this case. And uh, this will be all a gray color, so it won't be different as other ones. But it is, we'll use a high map, it's what we're using for um, path, it's what we created. So right here we have it path, let me open. So right here we have it, this path, let's go. Okay, and you'll notice right, it's already started applying. So we'll go to um, transparency and connect to grayscale. Keep black white, it should look okay. Switch to object parametric, so it's kind of overlay almost everything you can see going over. And by using alpha boosts, I can actually take a little bit down, blend it, and same with the presence. I can take from the top, so I don't want to affect my mountains, and kind of more going in a lower areas. 
right there with this. Okay, let's go a little bit more. I want to just see where's that. So we'll go right here. Okay, so we apply it and next you always can create if you wanted the, um, another river. So we can go to um, yes, increase sizes. So right here, let's go place it. Maybe somewhere like this. Okay, and we'll go just select glass for now. Or maybe actually water. So let's go find glasses paint. Okay, we'll go right here. Reason and tropical water should work just fine. So right here we'll have it a little bit more. Okay, let's go open transparency, add a little bit more mercury. Okay, and we're gonna click on the render preview. Okay, let's look. And again, this is just our test, but you can see we apply uh, our dissolve kind of flow right here on the mountain, material for the mountain. We have it our also apply for the peak stop bottom and flow we have a different applying colors for our um kind of terrace look and our little bit swampy area of course in a swampy area the i use the blend so we can take this blend down you know and just leave it just below a swamp so we have a little bit more greenish you can see start coming up right here on this effect okay so we have a little bit more greenish start coming and we can take all this blend if needed and maybe even convert to actually more earthy like look so then you start kind of playing more with materials applying and start blending them in a little bit better and of course our base river Instead, that one we can always modify, switch to the natural grain. Can go right here, roughness, a little bit too much. Okay, now we start having right that grain. And overall, in this way, probably can see easier and remember if you work with Voo, you can always apply Voo materials as well you can use it some of these um, maps to distributed ecosystem populations in your um, terrain so overall here's our image with the four different terrains as one terrain and that is included all four different maps for the coloring or system distribution that you can create in a world machine and export and render in your application Turgen, Vu or any other ones. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com